What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Sneaker Circle. It is your boy Danny. Once again, back from the dead, back from the hiatus. That's a blinking light. But yeah, it's been a minute. I'm a, I I oh, I don't even know what to say. I apologize for those who actually like to watch my videos. Sony, I see you. Love you, bro. Love you. So, I have been busy with work, new job, new me. And just haven't had the time, but the pickups never stop. So let me get straight into this one. In front of us, if you don't know what box this is, but you can read upside down and you can tell that it says off white, we do have a little special surprise. These did recently release this month in October, the very first off white for October. I know it seems like we have quite a bit of off whites releasing for Nike, but it's 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 welcomed it's it's a lot of l's one l helps me recover from the other one you feel me from the past one from september's l's from august's l's etc this whole year it's how it's how the function works so i actually managed to touch shout out to shoe gallery i won their raffle and yo i picked these up the very next day and they were magnifique so just to go over the box if you guys haven't really dealt with any other off-white product before this is actually a pretty common box that he uses the you actually might see it in a past video of mine of the old school ish type of sneakers that off white does as a brand that aren't vans yeah they come in the same box you have the detailing except with the converse logo in the 2013 right there from obviously when they they started up as a company you have sporadic um the little off white logos no not off white converse logos throughout you can see it right here like in a transparent print it's pretty dope and yeah the box is pretty beat up but shoe gallery you know, I don't know every time i win something from shoe gallery the box is always just like super beat but you know they probably see my name and just like punch them <laughs> i'm playing shoe gallery are good people they're definitely good people here's that like that mandatory size tag or yeah the size tag that i try to give everyone so if you're looking for a pair and you want to know what that size tag looks like? I'll stop shaking like a, a, a B word. And just right there. There you go. So getting straight into the shoe. These are a pair of off-whites that come with no extra laces. If you go back to the video I did of the very first Converse. Shout out to Carl. Um, yeah, you, you can compare those with these. I'm not going to do too much of a comparison off the bat. And I'm just gonna I'm just here to give you guys like a decent look at what to expect if you are looking for the sneaker. Now, this was hyped before the release. After the release, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with it. I don't know why, but we'll we'll get to that. So in in that disappointment, you kind of see resell on these or, or market aftermarket price definitely fall from the standard like five, six hundred that they were at before the release to the high three hundreds. I've seen people sell for less desperately because they, they just accumulated a lot of pairs. There is a number out there for how many of these were produced. I don't know if it's worldwide or just the US. But honestly, if you're really into Converse and you like them, this is a nice little collection <laughs> to add to use. It's the first one of the Nike ones that actually feature an orange tag, if I'm not mistaken. But honestly, the materials are just like your run of the mill Converse. You know, you get a rubber sole. Um, a rubber vulcanized sole. I gotta, I gotta come correct with that. And just that regular canvas upper, and there's nothing too special about this per se. Now, when I first saw the pictures of these, I thought this was just like painted on, but it's kind of nice to see that it's rubber on rubber. So that that's that's always that's always a nice little touch when it comes to stuff like this. But the front and toe caps just like um, just like regular Converse, nothing too special. You have that print throughout the bottom of the shoe. And you have a really orange sole, which I think is kind of cool. It gives you the size, which these are a nine and a half Converse All Stars. On the inside, is there anything special on the inside? I don't know, because the tongue's in the way. I think there's just the Berg branded the 10 with the off white, um, yeah, off white and Converse logo right there. Nothing too out of the mill. But then you get the print that everyone just loves on these sneakers. And I've seen these on feet. I've seen fits for these. People can rock them and they can rock them well. Give it time. Don't sleep on them. If you want a pair because you like the shoe and you missed, definitely come up on it within these next couple of months before people realize like, oh, it's off white. Let me start paying out the butthole for these. That's, that's my take on these. You do get one set of laces, which is kind of a bummer. 
The clear ones even came with two, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the first pair that, oh no. I don't know if the Mercurials, I think they're called. I don't know if those came with extra laces because I didn't get to review. But I don't know. I think these are the first ones that don't have extra laces and it's kind of a bummer. Because the original 10 came with such good like replacement laces and then as Off-White started dropping more shoes, it kind of like started toning down with the colors. And that's what a lot of people liked. You get that signature orange on these. One thing that the clear ones have that these don't have is I remember the clear ones had right here the outside and they had another print on the inside right here so it's kind of like that transparent feel and it was just it was just nice this you only get the one on this outside and just um, i want to give you guys a closer look at that sole so definitely check it out if you like them if you don't like them So retail on these were pretty, pretty well. It was $130, which isn't too different from other off Converse. Now that I think about it, it's, it's priced well. I guess since people see high price, price tags on like off white sneakers, they expect like the best of the best. But as of now, these that are in my hand, craftsmanship is definitely there. The materials are closer to the price point. So you're definitely getting what you paid for. A lot of people would debate that and say they're not even worth that but considering the hype, definitely are. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Love y'all.